guess I don't know my own strength.
Keep your eyes where they belong. It's been a long time. Rasputin is dead now. Yes, I know. But what of it? He was never your true enemy anyway. Nikolai, what are you trying to accomplish? What are you after? This vault is filled to overflowing with the hatred, malice, and despair of the countless souls who have perished here. What if all that malice were to be suddenly released? Yeah, what if? It would creep into the hearts of people all over the world. All their petty, paltry vices would become magnified, warped into bitterness 
anger and envy. Don't you see? Men will slaughter each other like cattle to get ahead. Yes, the 21st century will be a time of unprecedented conflict and bloodshed. How can you? Very easily. Do you think you can stop me, Lily? Yeah. <laughs> what I want to do is to crush you. The man who beat Cardinal Albert Simon. Who endured the mistletoe's curse. Who refused to bend before Rasputin. If I can't destroy you, I'll never be able to forgive myself. Behold! Aren't they beautiful? Perfect balls of negative energy. God Slayer, Pandora's box has been reopened. These unfettered bundles of malice will infect the world forever. <laughs> you can try your best, but no matter how much you fight, the Age of Darkness is nigh! Best, come on!
That wasn't even a workout. Suppose that I am beaten, even with the power of Astaroth. Uh. Uh. Time to finish it. Kato. In the name of the Emperor, I'm taking this man under my protection. I do not wish to fight you. Please leave. No way. If this man is truly next in line to the Tsardom of Russia, then as an allied country, we cannot simply let you kill him. <sighs> Look at those. Do you have any idea what those are going to do? It was you who let it happen. <sighs> the malice is already invading the people's hearts. It's too late for them. Taking this person's life is not going to change anything. Stay out of this. Yuri! I'm going back to the capital. Your war is over now. Look for another way to live. Farewell. Three months after Nikolai released the pent-up malice of a point of tower. The war's brutality escalated quickly with the use of chemical weapons. But the battlefield changed little, with both sides becoming more and more entrenched. Meanwhile, Yuri and his friends followed Special Agent Kato back to Japan to stop Nikolai, now possessed by Astaroth. And so, the stage shifts to the east. How is he? He's sleeping, but I don't think he's getting any better. 
We've come all the way to Japan, and yet there's nothing we can do. What if... what if he dies on us? Mm. Why do you always have to say things like that? Oh, come on. Show me somebody that's in danger of dying from seasickness. He was fine in the airship. He's an odd one, all right. That stupid airship didn't have any oomph anyway. It wasn't my fault. But you were the one that crash-landed the ship. It's called an emergency landing. Anyway, there was a cute little mother and baby bear. I wanted to see them. <laughs> well, Roger is probably yeah. still fixing it, surrounded by those bears. Deep in the woods of Hokkaido. Yeah, he may already be dead. We seem to have all gotten kind of down. Hmm, you're right. Anyway, we don't have any reason to think that he's dead. Besides, there's nothing we can do. Let's just take it easy until Yuri is back on his feet. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.
a soul on my hand. Arts are unbeatable.
It's all right. Karando has removed the threat of the bandits. Uh-huh. Are you hurt? I'm fine, Princess. Karando, who is this? I don't know. He just appeared out of nowhere to help me out. An unusual benefactor, I'd say. He certainly does look like a smart one. Yes. Thank you. What's your name, boy? Okay. You're white. So I'll call you Snowball. <laughs> I think he likes it. Yeah. My enemies must be very impatient to send their assassins here. Don't you think so? You should be careful. Our enemies will try to strike at you. While you're away from the capital, you'll be vulnerable. I think we're safe enough. After all, we've got you, isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> Still, how very rude of them, don't you think? They could at least let a man visit a graveyard in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Well, shall we go? The inn is just over there. Yes. You have my gratitude for saving us. <laughs>
Nothing. But doesn't he need to go to the hospital? He's fine. He may be thin. But don't worry. He's extremely tough. Was that your daughter that was kidnapped? Yes. We've got to go save her! 
I want nothing more than for her to return. But she is an important hostage, so I'm sure they will do nothing to harm her. Don't you think he seems kind of calm considering what happened? Shh! He'll hear us. Don't worry. He's probably hard of hearing anyway. <laughs> I'm old, but I am not deaf, little lady. Not yet. Mm. Uh, I am, uh, uh, <laughs> Oh, how are you feeling? I'm fine. Please don't be concerned about me. Master, these people. These are the ones that brought you here when you were hurt. Oh, I see. Thank you. I owe you all my life. Oh, really? It was nothing. It was our pleasure. Uh... Oh. You! Oh. Ow! Anyway, we thought you died back there. Yeah. Hmm. There is dangerous work ahead. You've already done much to help. You needn't get further involved. Well, maybe not. But I think you know the people who took your daughter, don't you? <laughs> That's true, but it would be wiser for you all to keep away from this. It's not your concern. I'm afraid we can't do that. Hmm. And why is that? My partner. I mean my pet wolf. The one that chased after the car. You mean Snowball? Snowball? Yeah! That's him. You mean Blanca, don't you? Oh. That wolf. He saved us last night, too. You see? We can't just forget about him. Hmm. Huh? Uh, oh! Snowball! Blanca! It's the princesses. You found their secret hideout, boy? I guess it's decided then. Hmm. Shall we accept their assistance? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>